Oh boy. It's been a second. So I'm currently living in a hotel room. I've been here for the past week and a half. It's awful. The internet sucks. So that's partially the reason why I'm behind on videos. So I'm sorry. I want to work on it, but I literally cannot. Here's a little clip of like what the internet speed is like. It is outstandingly bad. There's no point to me setting up my desktop to edit. But let me show you why I'm in a hotel room. Alright, so uh, it's a little bit cold out, so I'm gonna make this quick, but I am moved out to Chicago. So for those of you who don't know, um, I was living in Michigan. I went to school at MSU and my entire life has been in Michigan. And I didn't really plan on moving out, but I got offered a job and eight months after I graduated college, I took it. With COVID, it was, it's insanely hard to find any sort of job right now much less an entry-level position. So, I mean, after school, I was working as a server. It didn't feel great because I had a four-year degree and I was waiting tables. Not ideal. Not that there's anything wrong with that. It's just, it's not what I really wanted to do with my life. And it took a very, very long time to be able to find any sort of opportunity. So I probably applied to around 200 applications. Um, since graduating college and I probably heard back from three and that was over the course of You know like a six or eight months right up whatever one of those was literally a pyramid scheme uh, So that was sick <laughs> But it's just it's difficult and I got offered a position in an automotive company I don't know if I'm gonna say yet what it is. We'll see. It's it's a great job a great company um, So far my coworkers have been awesome. I've only been there for one week. I've been living in that hotel that I showed you uh, It's a hole <laughs> But today I'm actually signing a uh, six month lease and it comes with a garage, which is kind of cool, but I am gonna be living in the basement of a married couple, so we'll see how that goes. Also, it's very, very cold and windy and sad, but I don't feel like making a video in a hotel room, so here we are. But that's just a little bit of an update. Um, that's kind of the reason why the uploads have been kind of slow, especially since the, uh, the last episode five of the Turbo Miata. Um, it's gonna take time. I need to get an internet connection and I need to set up my desktop. Till then, I can edit like tiny videos like this on, on my laptop, but yeah, really any sort of big video, I gotta have my, my desktop for that. So stay stay put, um, it is, it's on its way, I promise. You will be able to see that car spooling soon enough. But yeah, so if you are in North Chicago, hit me up. I, I need friends, I literally know Two people out here? Yeah, comment below if you're in uh, in North Chicago. Kind of in like the suburbs. Yeah, anyway, uh, it's freezing. Um, you guys actually haven't heard about this car yet. So hopefully there's no wind noise, but this is a 2008 Volkswagen GTI. If you're new to the channel, you may not know that I actually owned a, a Mark VI GTI. Um, figured I'd run the Legacy again. This is a very, very temporary car. It's it's kind of a shitbox. I, I fixed it up a lot a crazy amount and now it's actually like drivable and it's it's nice it's a good car um but it is very temporary i'm working on and maybe you guys can give me some some insight on this i'm picking between a mark 7 gti with a dsg or a 10th generation honda civic si so it's a 2017 and above each had their pros and cons i may make a little list on that eventually and, and do some videos but for the most part my budget is around twenty thousand dollars so if you guys have any like i don't know cars in mind just throw them out there pretty open but yeah so i i think i'm gonna have this for around three more months probably and then upgrade it's actually like super low mileage it only has sixty-three thousand. however the previous owner really really neglected this car it was trashed when i got it but i got it for a really really good price and i fixed it up for example the headliner I actually did myself. This is all me, which is crazy. Um, I was very, very concerned doing it. I didn't actually make a video on the headliner, but I filmed a lot of the other process of fixing up this car, so I'll, I'll make a video on that. This isn't gonna be a huge part of the channel. It, again, it's just like a temporary car. But um, that's gonna do it for today's video. This is just a little update telling you guys that I want to work on videos, but I literally cannot. 
hopefully I'll be moved into my place and I can start editing, start filming a little bit. Um, I think I, I'm moving in in four days, so we'll see. But yeah, this is just a new adventure for me. I've, I mean, I didn't really plan on moving outside of Michigan away from, you know, friends and family, but here I am, so I'm gonna make the best of it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and stay tuned. I will be releasing the Turbo Miata stuff soon, so definitely look out for that. But anyway, see you guys later.